what's up you guys um yeah so <laughs> this is my first nail video so please bear with me this is my first voiceover all of that good stuff so well not first voiceover but this is my first nail video and i'm so excited to give this content to you guys because i am a new person at this like new nail artist everything is new to me but like i said we're gonna learn together um this is a, a place where you can just dish out as many ideas as you have comment down below let me know what you guys want to see i noticed that i have 70 subscribers that came from my um shorts you guys been loving my shorts and i thank you thank you thank you so much i highly appreciate you guys for supporting me and i will be giving up more nail content um you know i just been figure out how to film nail content but that's all right we learning together okay we're gonna do a whole bunch of different nail styles um well not nail styles but different um ideas that i have in my head and if you guys want to see something from me just let me know like comment down below let me know that you guys are liking the content and stuff that you want to see from me any different nail trends or you know just whatever just let me know but i also Definitely want to thank you guys for loving my um, nail short, like the shorts um, that's been coming out. So I don't want you guys to leave because I am producing nail content. This is my first nail video. Um, so let me tell you guys, this is um, right here. I just filed my nails with a 80 grit for the sides and 100 grit file on the top of my nail. Um, right now, I'm just working with the file. I do want to invest in a really good drill. Um, I heard the Melon Susie drill is really nice. Um, but comment down below if you know what drills are the best right now. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, so we just went in with our file, just filing, you know, filing away because I did use forms. I really don't like forms, but that's okay. We are learning day by day how to do different things. I didn't have any nail glue, so I said, well, let's try some nail forms. So that's what we did. And, you know, it came out a little wonky, but that's okay. We're learning, right? <laughs> We're learning together. I'm still new at this, you guys. But whatever I learn, I'm going to let you guys know. So pretty much I'm just going in filing. You know, every time you file your nails, you always want to make sure you keep your files straight. You know, and that eight, those are panda files. And honestly, I love those files, you guys. Like they help out with my shaping so well. Um, so if you want to, you want me to list all the things down below, just let me know and I will do that. Um, yeah, so right now we're just making a little mixture here. I want to do like a sheer pink on my, um, uh, my first coat and then we're going to do some airbrushing. So pretty much I'm just mixing the top coat, like the Mark, um, what is it called? Uh, Mark, uh, oh my, oh my God, I'm having a brain fart. Um, uh. Oh my god, I will let you guys know what it is. I don't know, my brain is just like, I don't know. But I do know what top coat that is. But we're just going to mix it together so we can get a really nice sheer, almost like jelly nails, but, you know, yeah, pretty much like jelly nails. Get a really sheer coat onto my nails. But I'm going to let you guys, you know, watch this and um, I'm going to come back. Spend my life with you. I wanna please you in any 
I did add two coats of the um, jelly mixture that I made with the top coat, well, McCart top coat. Oh my gosh, I don't know why it took me forever to think about the name because I love McCart's products, but yes, McCart. Um, so now we're going in with my airbrush. And honestly, guys, you, I thought that I um, showed you guys how to set it up with the um, airbrush, but it wasn't in the frame when I filmed this. But that's okay because the next um, frame will show you me me showing you how to use the airbrush. And this is actually my husband's airbrush um, machine that we got for his birthday. Like I got it for his birthday because he wanted to do like airbrushing onto jackets and stuff. So right now I am into nail content and it's just one of those newfound loves that I have. So I'm like, ooh, I want to learn how to airbrush. So pretty much I've been using that to do like any type of airbrush design and it's been like a breeze. Um, so it's an actual airbrush machine with a compressor with a compressor and all of that. So if you guys want a full in-depth tutorial about the compressor, the air compressor, like the nail um, 
Well, it's not a nail one. It's a regular um, airbrush with a compressor. So if you want to know, just let me know. Comment down below. Um, right here, I purchased these from Amazon. These are some like nail decal stickers. Like I was trying to figure out what design I wanted to use. So I don't know if I want to do swirls. And they have, I think it's a pack of 200 and no, wait. But anyway, I will list all these details down below. But yeah, I was trying to decide what design I wanted to do um, because, you know, we we have so many to choose from. But I didn't eventually choose something. I went with the this one right here. It was really cute, actually. Um, so yeah, I really actually I actually like those. So right here. We're just going to dilute our gel polish. I'm putting um, some pink nail polish from my one of my liners that I have, one of my gel liners, gel polish liners that I have. And we're gonna dilute that with some acetone, just enough to make it like a watery consistency. That's it, like just a little bit. I didn't even put that much polish in there either, like one big old drop from right there. And um, as soon as it get watery, it's good to spray through the needle so you're not damaging your um, needle and stuff. So you definitely want to make sure it's watery, a watery consistency, but enough pigment to spray. So right here, I'm just testing it out on the paper towel because it can get a little messy, but you wanna make sure it spray like even. So I'm just making sure that it sprays nice and even just to test my color. Um, so as you can see, it came out really nice. So now we're going to spray our nail. And also when you're doing each layer of um, airbrushing, you wanna make sure you cure so I do have my curing lamp on the side where I can just stick my hand in there. And I think I did like a 30 minute cure just to kind of, you know, get it on there. And then I went in again doing a little um, darker, like I went in a little darker and then I cured that for, um, was it 30? I think 30 seconds. Um, so yeah. Okay, so right here, you guys, um, we're just using our McCart uh, top coat, and we're gonna do one layer. And I actually don't know how long I'm supposed to cure this for because I had used the Morvan, I used to use the Morvan top coat, which was horrible. It I used to cure for 120 seconds. So I've been curing this one for 120 seconds. I actually should look up the directions, but it didn't come with directions on how long to leave it for. So um, so I'm not really sure how long I should cure it for, but the 120 seconds seems to work for me. But anyway, just go ahead and you know cure your top coat. Um, but that's what I'm doing right here.
personality Everything you do Makes me love Everything about you Your smile Your style Is so fly I can't deny I got a crush on you And that's true And I'm digging you Okay, you guys, so I'm actually, like, really, 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 truly excited about how these nails came out. They came out better than I thought they would um, because there was a lot of mistakes made in this video, but that's okay. We are learning, and they actually came out really, really cute. I love the pink. I love pink nails. Anything pink, 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 pink. I know you're probably like, oh, my gosh, everybody loves pink, but... These came out so freaking cute. And then I had to put like the little flash on there so you can get the, you know what I'm saying? So you can see how shiny that McCart top gel is, baby. And then we just put in a little bit of um, oil. You know, it's not um, cuticle oil, but baby, we finna make it work into my um, nail. Uh, my cuticle oil come from Amazon, period. So yes, we just moisturizing them cuticles. And I'ma shine the light. Shine bright like a diamond. Mm, mm. But anyway, if you guys like this tutorial, please comment down below. Um, let me know what you guys think about this set right here. Um, yeah, so I look forward to seeing you guys soon, hitting you guys up. And um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I will come back with another tutorial. Bye, you guys.